Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is about Windows 8.1. Um, I think 8.1 has been out for a month so far, and I've been using it and playing around with it and testing it out, and I realized that they removed how to create and restore a system image backup. I know I created a video for you guys a while back of how to create a system uh, restore backup WIM image, so you guys could... Uh, if something happens to your machine you could use that custom image and get yourself back up and running with all your applications installing something uh, so they've removed the GUI part but check this out they did not remove the PowerShell part I love PowerShell PowerShell is one of those powerful utilities that you could basically use everywhere uh, with Windows uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get that so first thing that you want to do you want to do a Windows X and you want to run Windows PowerShell admin okay that's what you want to do let that come up now there's three commands that I'm going to be showing you guys I'm not actually going to show you guys the three commands I'm going to show you the basic command and the basic command is to start the process of, of the pot you know to start the backup actually okay so my Windows PowerShell is up and running now I'm gonna actually provide a link of my notes like you guys for those who have been following me and checking out my videos I always have notes and the reason why I have notes is because you know I don't remember all this stuff all the time so to start or initiate the backup uh, you want to use this command so this this is these are the notes that I'm gonna leave at the bottom of the description part uh, is it gonna be a text file you guys could download and check it out now the first one is this one right here I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go back into my virtual machine because I always test everything out with a virtual machine now I have I actually have a D drive and the D drive is a local hard drive within this virtual machine this is where I'm gonna be backing up my stuff and I'm gonna show you guys that stuff see this PC and there you go so I got a D drive so I want to drop this C drive custom image imagine I install all the programs that I, I want like Chrome Adobe reader whatever and I want to capture this so in case something happens to my machine or something gets corrupted when testing I could always revert back to that custom image with all the applications so I'm gonna right click right there I'm gonna paste it to my Windows PowerShell command and the applet is WB admin start backup you're gonna do the parameter of dash backup target colon D colon and then another parameter that you're gonna include the C all critical and quiet now it's gonna initiate this in quiet mode so I'm gonna hit enter so what what quiet is quiet is basically you're not gonna see any prompting or anything or you know any dialogue box so right now it started is retrieving all the volume information pretty soon it's gonna start compressing it like it's gonna compress it shrink it down into a way that you could use it later on uh, this process normally takes a while depending on how big your C drive is okay depending on how much information or applications you have on your Windows 8.1 machine uh, it's gonna take a while now this virtual machine is real small as you can see my C drive is only 10 gigs and I'm only I only have 1.93 gigs left so it shouldn't take as long uh, so let's go to my D drive and see if anything has showed up in my D drive hopefully something showed up in my D drive and it has nothing has showed up because it's still trying to retrieve all the volume information yeah it looks like it's still retrieving but that's how you you initiate the create the image part with Windows 8.1 because Microsoft apparently removed the GUI part and it looks like this will back up the system receive 350 megabytes of C to D awesome look at that the backup operation to D is starting creating a shadow copy of the volume specified for the backup awesome looks like everything is working I don't see anything right now it's creating a shadow copy of the volume specific for backup it looks like it's, it's gonna take a while for it to show up anything but I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer but again if you guys have any questions on this actually before I let you go uh, let's review the other two commands now if you want if you guys want to back up to several drives like let's say you have an external hard drive you want to back up your stuff in an external hard drive rather than a local drive uh, th it's the same command but when it comes into the point of the parameter to include just do a C uh, colon 
comma D colon comma F column that's how you include multiple um, hard drives or partitions to back up in several locations now if you want to back it up over a folder you do the same concept but your backup target is going to be a UNC path okay uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again I will place a, a link so you guys could download this information so you guys could go check it out and play I think in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to restore the system image uh, from a backup and uh, please give me likes and I catch you guys on the next one peace out <laughs>